I included, I, I really wasn't planning on saying too much more about the drugs. Uh, I included a lot of safety tips that, that you heard already about showering instead of bathing, don't lock the bathroom door when you're in there, um, because if something happens, you need to be able to be accessible. You don't want to be behind a locked door at any time. Um, and also about driving, swimming. You shouldn't swim alone. And, and even if another person is there, you need to be able to make sure that that person can get you out of the water if there's just the two of you. Um, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of precautions that you would take with, with your children that are running around. Avoid sharp, sharp objects. Um, if you're riding a bicycle or doing anything like that, wear a helmet. Um, and uh, discuss things with your caregiver. If you're planning on going out somewhere, you know, just say, think about what the possibilities might be, that things that you might need to encounter. That way, you're prepared ahead of time. Um, and if you're a caregiver, uh, I'll never forget the first seizure that I experienced and how uh, ill-prepared I was for it. Uh, and it's hard to stay, take calm and do exactly what you're supposed to do if you're hearing it for the first time. So I put, I put some tips uh, also in there for the caregivers. Just, um, to um, make sure that, that your loved one is breathing and to put them on their side, remove any objects that could harm them in any way, don't put anything in their mouth and protect, protect your head from injury. Lots of times it'll happen in the bathroom, you know, and you've got tight quarters and uh, it's, it's difficult. Um, and seek immediate medical care if injuries occur, if there's a struggle to breathe, if the seizures last more than five minutes, or if there are multiple seizures. Um, and then there's also things that you can do for yourself. Um, keep a diary. That's not the traditional diary, of course, but a, a therapy diary um, to keep track of your seizures, and, and also any other things that you may be thinking are abnormal in the way that you're feeling, so that when you do go to the doctor, you can say, gee, you know, a few times this week after I took this medicine or that medicine, you know, this is the way I felt. Uh, it's easy to confuse an allergy with a side effect of a medication. Um, a side effect is something that, uh, as I said before, I listed the most common. Uh, a lot of people think that if something makes them drowsy, that it's an allergy, while often it's an expected or frequent side effect of the drug. Um, so take the medicines uh, when you're supposed to. I'm sure that most of you have those little boxes with the times on them. I forget to take medicine. I'm, I'm the worst. I, I don't remember to take a vitamin every day. So everyone can benefit from that. Don't be embarrassed and think that, oh, I have to have this because I can't remember. A lot of people can't remember. That's why they make them, right? <laughs> um, and it's important to take care of yourself. You know, eat a healthy diet, get a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, and uh, don't eat a lot of junk, um, as tempting as it may be. Uh, and get exercise. Junie knows I'm very big on exercise. You know, don't wear yourself out, but go for a walk and, and do as much as you can to stay in shape. Um, and um, avoid anything that uh, may not be the best for you, like alcohol. You know, I guess moderation, it depends on, again, your individual condition. Um, it's very important to be alert to anything that may be a sign of an infection. Uh, I think that 
today we tend to uh, minimize any, any effects that we may have as, uh, oh, it's just really hot in here when maybe you have a fever or a, if your throat is a little sore. These are all signs of infections. Uh, or say you're bruising very easily. Uh, there, there's anything that's out of the ordinary, even, you know, don't minimize it, jot it down. If it persists, then give your doctor a call because you don't want to get an infection. Um, a lot of times the, um, the medications that you're taking may be lowering your white blood cell counts and they make you more prone to an infection. So it's important that you, uh, you know, like if you have pain on urination or you see a little blood in your urine or your stool, uh, those are all signs that, that you need to at least alert your doctor to what's happening. Um, also, be careful when you're brushing your teeth or flossing, um, you know, not to be too rough uh, where you'll start your gums bleeding, anything like that. And wash your hands a lot. You know, uh, I think we all self-consciously touch our eyes our noses, the insides of our mouths. That's an easy way to spread an infection or germs and get yourself sick.